Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to your pick a card reading. Now, today we shall explore what surprises 2023 has in store for you. We'll see what pops up. We'll freestyle this. Um, if love pops up, we'll talk about that. If career pops up, we'll talk about that. But it's overall all the good things coming to you. Okay. The last couple of years have been doozies in their own right. And I'm I'm hoping this year has, has better stuff in store for us. I'm pretty sure it does. The astrological transits are better this time around uh, with a few hiccups. But then again, every year has those, right? Now, your 2023 overview readings based on your sign have been uploaded um, a couple of weeks ago. So make sure you check those out. I will put the playlist either in the description box or towards the end of the reading as an end card. Now, let's see. Your first pile is the Hermetic Tarot with an Amethyst Cluster. Your second pile is the animal deck, as I like to call it, by Kim Kranz, and it has a pyrite attached to it. And your third deck is the, the Tarot of the Abyss with a stillabite and an apophyllite. How beautiful is that? All right, so the timestamps will be in the description box down below. Take a minute, pause the video, see which pile or crystal calls out to you. That is going to be your reading. All right, see you then. Hello, pile one. This is your reading if you pick the Hermetic Tarot or the Amethyst Crystal. All right. Let's see what we have. Like I said, I'm just freestyling these. We're going to pull a couple of oracles towards the end and a few charms as well. So make sure you stick around for that. The Princess of Wands wanted to show up. Some of you may have heavy fire in your charts. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be alrighty let's see pile one the star beautiful Aquarius energy with the high priestess and justice well wow. and the hanged man that's a lot of major arcana right here with the ace of cups and the ten of pentacles look at that ten of pentacles ace of cups the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, the High Priestess, more Pisces Energy, Justice, Libra Energy, and the Star, Aquarius Energy. Those signs may be important, but if anything has been stuck, if you feel like you've been in this perpetual state of healing from something and you feel like you're just going to keep healing for the rest of your life and nothing is coming out of it, that's changing, okay? That is the underlying energy of your reading. Let's see, what are these changes? And with the Ace of Cups, that's a new start in love. With the Ten of Pentacles, um, there is something related to family. There could be something related to your career, settling down uh, and just building a legacy of love and, well, good money. The Sun, beautiful Leo energy with the Queen of Swords. There's construction happening next door. You'll have to excuse the noise. I don't know how loud it is for you. The lovers. Stunning. The Ace of Cups showed up for a reason. Pile one. Knight of Swords at the bottom. The King of Wands. There's an aircraft flying overhead. Some of you may be planning a trip soon. Either to meet someone. Or someone coming in to meet you. We have quite a bit of fire here. We have the sun with Leo and the king of wands with Leo again. And the queen of wands at the bottom. I'm going to take it. That's a divine match. So again, some of you may be dealing with the fire sign or have it heavily. But then again, the king and the queen of wands are not just very attractive, but they're very attracted to each other. Right. And this is a very magnetic connection there could be a whole lot of chemistry a whole lot of passion now if this isn't in your midst just yet i do see it coming about because the sun illuminates right the sun is the opposite of the moon the moon suppresses so if any feelings have been suppressed from either side that is changing the queen of swords is here as well i am going to look at the bottom for just a minute we have the knight and the page of pentacles with the ace of wands you can't make this up the six of swords and the two of cups okay I'm going to take these because you see now with the Six of Swords, if the Six of Swords is showing up, it means that there was a Five of Swords moment. The Five of Swords is deceit. It is conflict to an extent. It is trying to find a shortcut to success, trying to win at all costs. It can be a manipulative energy. 
but we have the six of swords instead which is moving on from all of that right the ace of wands and the two of cups that is a passionate new beginning in love the two of cups is the intermingling of two energies that are finally on the same page so if you were in separation let's say you were you were at odds with the person you're dealing with that may shift but we have the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles so it's going to start off small okay don't expect this to skyrocket in an instant because that's not going to happen i feel like more work needs to be put in with the queen of swords there's some kind of boundary that needs to be set here i will clarify why is the queen of swords here the six of swords again i feel like this calmness that we are after this removal of conflict that we're after you need to be the initiator of it now the star again at the bottom i feel like you may have come into this person's life as a healer it is possible that whoever this is may be dealing with a lot of trauma from the past, which is why the star is showing up. You remember I said you've been healing from something and you feel like you're constantly going to keep healing from it. The Six of Swords is a successful uh, journey. It is, it is the path that you take after you've done healing, right? It's also possible, like I said, that you are healing this person. And that was that is your purpose in this person's life so that you can both elevate and reach that two of cups potential the two of cups is two aces of cups right two full cups of love coming together to intermingle so it's possible that you had one and a half cups you know what i mean you were offering the full cup and the person was just giving you a mere half maybe even less so there is balance coming about we did have the justice card at the bottom of the deck as well five of wands four of cups the queen of pentacles the hierophant and the two of cups again the ten of wands okay <clears throat> something has been incredibly difficult here for you uh but i feel like you are the peacemaker in this situation let's see why is the sun here the empress beautiful you're growing you're thriving and you know what firstly there's no gender in tarot just take the energy with you but i was when i saw the sun i literally thought about how long it takes for a plant to grow okay it starts off with a little seed underground with no sunlight but it strives so hard to pop off from under the soil right so that it can bask in that sunlight so i almost feel like after that period of darkness it almost may feel like to you that there will be no sun again i know that sounds really dark but with the empress you've been working on yourself you could be a male watching this doesn't really matter we have feminine and masculine energies deep within us so with the empress energy showing up this is you having to not just nurture yourself but to nurture this connection as a whole right sometimes we forget that we get so lost in our relationships we don't realize that there are three entities that we're working with our own energy our person's energy and the energy of the connection the connection is has an identity of its own right and how that identity is created depends on both of you what you are adding to it and what you are taking away from it. So I'm not asking you to wear your heart on your sleeve. But then again, if you want this to well grow, you need to nourish it. All right. Let's see. Why is the lovers here? I do see success here because again, the Empress is a solid yes card. It is Venusian energy. Um, there is peace from chaos. I do get that. Oh, wow. I just saw the tower. The nine of pentacles judgment and the hermit ten of cups virgo energy temperance patience i feel like now this is scorpio energy scorpio energy again virgo energy and sagittarius with capricorn and aquarius after this tower fell i feel like with the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles has been mistaken into being the card of being single you can be in nine of pentacles energy even while you're in a relationship okay the nine of pentacles is the energy of the pre-empress okay working on yourself making sure your career is on point making sure your spirituality is on point making sure your body your physical body your mental emotional body is on point all right so i feel like not just you but both of you have been working on your individualistic selves and then we have judgment so when a separation happens it's because you're not on the same timeline you're not on the same vibration there's an energetic mismatch that separation is created so that you can both elevate to the same playing field right 
once you've both worked on yourselves, there is a judgment call. With the hermit, I feel like there was a little time out. And that time out was not spent in vain. If you feel like nothing was happening beneath the surface and you were the only one doing all the work, you're wrong. Whoever this is has been working on themselves as well. Okay, and then the Ten of Cups, of course, is a happily ever after. So you see the trajectory here. There is a shift that's happening. It's almost like a swan gliding on a lake. It almost looks like, feels like it's not doing anything, but you don't know how fast the feet are moving. So there, there's a lot brewing. Let's see, why is the lovers here? I wanted to show up. The King of Wands again. <sighs> the King of Wands for me is a salsa dancing king, someone who loves the spotlight, someone who loves attention. <clears throat> and it is possible for some of you that this person, <clears throat> excuse me, the devil did show up. It's possible that this person may have strayed just a little bit, okay? But there is a realization that is coming about, about your worth. The sun, like I said, illuminates. Illuminates what? The empress. With the queen of swords and the six of swords, I'm sorry, I'm hopping around so much, but I'm just trying to make sense of this. The queen of swords, like I said, is very factual. The queen of swords can also be very intuitive. If you know the original Rider Waite, the Queen of Swords is wearing a rosary around her wrist, okay, which indicates her spirituality. She can be highly intuitive. I feel like a few of you already knew that things were going to even themselves out. But you almost needed to let this person go for them to see their options and realize that there's no one like you. I'm literally getting that. You knew that the grass wouldn't be green on the other side. Which is why the Six of Swords is here again. You would, you were just like, okay, go, go. We'll see how far you can run. You know, that kind of thing. But, okay, let's see. <clears throat> Give me one card for the King and the Queen of Wands. A lot of aircrafts flying overhead today. We have the five of pentacles. Let's get a couple more. That doesn't tell me much. We have the hanged man. We have the two of cups at the bottom with the ten of wands and the three of cups. I almost feel like you feel that history may repeat itself if you do get back into union. But then again, that is the energy of you waiting for the other shoe to drop. And when you are in that energy, guess what? The shoe does drop because you manifested it. The Knight of Pentacles. Take it slow. That, that, that is my advice. Take it slow because the Knight of Pentacles may be incredibly slow to come about. I have been talking about manifestation. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow to come about. But then again, when this Knight delivers that Pentacle, it doesn't disappear. Okay, it stays. The Knight of Pentacles tries hard to then become the King of, the Pen of Pentacles and then eventually the Emperor. So again, no gender in tarot, but there is something about elevation here that is going to take its own sweet time. Because if someone has been, well, in and out, they have been in this King of Wands energy, the Salsa Dancing King who loves the spotlight and will do anything to get attention, this person is not going to flip a switch overnight. And if they say they do, then that, that's artificial, right? That's fake. That's nonsense. So let this person grow let them elevate i feel like this is a divine match most certainly with the king and the queen of wands showing up together let's get a couple um, of main cards before i pull your charms and um, oracle cards i just need a little more clarity here yeah temperance literally the universe is saying be patient be patient be patient the three of wands again a card of manifestation so know what your ship looks like okay know what you want know what your desire is know what you want your life to look like in in the next one year know what your you want your relationship to look like in the next one year and stick to that vision all right whatever happens don't let yourself stray from from that outcome because the minute you do the the minute if buts and maybes um start plaguing your mind that is when that shoe drops over and over and over again that is when whoop the tower falls over and over and over again you know something flipped over didn't it let me see no i don't think so but let's see why is temperance here something did flip over never mind sagittarius energy 
Mukha, the Knight of Wands. Very quickly will that Knight of Pentacles turn into the Knight of Wands. Okay. So it's almost like whatever was slow, whatever you felt like you had to constantly heal from is going to be something that you will want to celebrate. Because we have a beautiful mix of energies here. All right. We don't have just fire. Now we have earth showing up as well. So there is a balance. Like I said, that is coming about here. So this offer, whatever it is that is coming towards you, I don't feel like it's going to be boring by any means. It will have that passion attached to it. This person is very heavily attracted to you. Most certainly. The chariot. What did I say? Cancer energy. Now, there is there is we have a letter a right here so that could be of significance to some of you but um the chariot is the fastest moving um well card fast moving energy in the tarot so i feel like um whatever has been really slow for you whatever you've been waiting for pile one it's coming to fruition we do have the magician and the nine of wands with the tower and the eight of wands with the wheel of fortune so with the nine of wands, stick to it. If this is something that you truly desire, stick to it. Don't give up on it. And then again, if this was something that was abusive in any shape or form, I will never condone you to go back to it. So use your, well, discretion and make the right choices here. All right. Now let's see, what do I want? I'm going to get you an oracle card. Yeah, I'm going to grab this one. This is the work your light oracle. I've had this forever, but it's such a beautiful deck. All right, let's see. Oh, we have two. We have no. And we have yes. What in the world? That is hilarious. Okay, so it says just say yes. And then it says wait, postpone, pause, say no. I literally feel like this is saying, <laughs> this is both these cards are adding up to a maybe. Okay maybe in the sense of divine timing because i feel like it's not time just yet this person hasn't reached your frequency just yet but we do have a yes for a reason so there will come a time with temperance with that patience with that resilience there will come a time when this person is going to be in the same vibration as you so this no can turn into that yes that's amazing bottom of the deck we have play have fun celebrate don't be so serious and we have akasha your guidance is divinely guided wait be patient pile one <clears throat> things are changing i promise all right let's get you a wisdom of the oracle we have fork in the road which is why I feel like yes and no is here because you're still conflicted. I always say that not making a decision is a decision in itself because it does have consequences. Okay. So which is why I feel like the tower was showing up again and again. So there is this sense of you having to be a little complacent for now. Don't push yourself to make a decision. Let that have its own consequences. You don't want to choose wrong, right? Yes and no. This has never happened in a reading before. No joke. But the guidance that is divinely guided, if you remember the card at the bottom of the deck, there is something about listening to your intuition. The high priestess did show up as well. Dig a little deeper. We have deep knowing at the bottom of the deck here as well. They, the answer that you are seeking, I feel like you don't need that from an external source. You need it more from deep within you. This is almost like instead of asking, do they want me? You need to ask yourself, do you want them? You know, sometimes we get so caught up in the idea of bringing back what was lost. We, we don't even ask ourselves if we truly want it in the first place. You know, so maybe that is something that you need to think about. And we have message in a bottle. So, yeah, there we go. A message in a bottle takes its own sweet time to sweep uh, ashore, right? <clears throat> so this message whatever this is is going to take its own sweet time but when it comes in i feel like it's going to give you all the answers you need to make that decision for most of you i feel like um it's going to be for the better it's going to be something that you've been hoping for something that you don't have to heal from but something that you can celebrate we did have play at the bottom of uh, the other deck all right let's see let's get you a few charms to close this off 
we have a pentacle so again could be dealing with an earth sign this could also be um well you focusing on your money you focusing on your pentacles with the nine of pentacles that showed up so working on your stability on your finances but then again we do have the knight of pentacles here so this is this is something that is tangible it is stable okay that is coming about we have a camera i feel like there's a whole lot of reminiscing from both sides this for me is page of swords energy right keeping an eye on each other even if there's no contact then we have believe have faith if this is something that you want to wait for have faith no ifs buts and maybes all right there has to be this this almost sense of authority that i am the creator of my own reality so if you believe in this you will manifest it plain and simple and we have virgo so you could have virgo heavily in your chart you could be dealing with someone who does doesn't have to be but i'm going to get you i'm going to try and grab a few initials i'm not looking i swear i just know what they feel like all right we have a and t now a showed up twice so that could be significant uh could be your initial could be the initial of someone you're dealing with and we have t so first name last name then we have a palm tree the the play card at the bottom of the deck is is screaming at me i feel like some of you just need to take a vacation you just need to take a break all right and then we have an intricate heart which talks about well a love that is deep and meaningful and beautiful but complicated but then again those are the best kinds aren't they <laughs> all right so that was it pile 1 i hope this helped bye bye hello pile 2 If you picked the animal deck or the pyrite this is your reading. All right. Let's see what we have. Now I will be pulling a few oracle cards and charms towards the end of your reading. So make sure you stick around for that. It just gives us more confirmation. Okay, pile 2, pile 2. we have the four of cups with the hermit the hanged man the ten of wands okay so this feels like um some of you have been disappointed regarding something something has been a burden almost like waiting has been a burden for you and you're on the verge of giving up on something with the hermit and the hanged man again it is possible that if this is related to love we don't know what's going to pop up but if this is related to love there could be no communication uh that could just be a well a time out period of isolation let's see we have the 7 of swords we have the 6 of pentacles we have the hanged man again pisces energy let's get a few more there's been a disbalance of some kind disbalance of energy we have the knight of wands bottom of the deck we have judgment the five of pentacles the death card the page of wands the wheel of fortune <clears throat> there's a start stop energy here there may have been multiple false starts for you for whatever this is again i don't know if this is love or career just yet it does look like love to me because the knight of wands is somebody who well can be very in and out it can be someone who's very magnetic and passionate comes in and then goes out the very next minute with the 7 of swords there is something that is a little sneaky right here you see how that fox has that one eye open um the hanged man has both eyes open you know so whoever this is that you are dealing with i feel like that there's a spying energy here there's someone who's keeping an eye on you i am going to dig a little deeper with judgment and the death card showing up together i feel like like i said there's a start stop start stop something that's going around in circles over and over again and i feel like some of you with the hanged man are just surrendering you're kind of done with it the moon yeah there's uncertainty pisces cancer energy there's some kind of uncertainty here or there has been let's get one more uncertainty plain and simple two of swords it's possible for some of you not for everyone um i'm getting two storylines here <clears throat> goodness me we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck with the 7 of cups and the death card 
okay for most of you <clears throat> pile two you were made an option plain and simple the lovers is is a card of choice the seven of cups is multiple choices the two of swords is a choice the death card is the end of something the three of pentacles could be more than one person involved in this situation now a third party doesn't always have to be a third romantic energy okay it could be anything it could be religion culture age it could be distance it could be something that has gotten in the way okay let's see the seven of swords the lover showing up does tell me with judgment as well that this is a strong connection whatever this is is just on a momentary time out we have the five of wands there's conflict and i feel like more so page of cups at the bottom with the empress listen pile two whoever this is hasn't let go this conflict i feel like whatever transpired between the two of you there is an apology that is due to you now the empress again is there's no gender in tarot all right the empress is someone who is very abundant somebody who knows their worth and i almost feel like because you know yours because you're not taking any action because you're not partaking in whatever game this is um there's almost this this realization of you know how when when we're kids and we're playing um run a chaser whatever right and uh someone's chasing you and uh you, you the the faster they chase you the harder you run but then when you stop running or when that person stops chasing you you look back and then you realize you're not being chased anymore right and then you ask this person well why aren't you chasing me i want to run this is that kind of energy it's almost like a reversal of of the runner chaser so you're not chasing and this person is is looking up and being like hang on a minute why am i not being chased anymore you know what i mean so this this has um kind of caused that that wheel of fortune to turn we did see it at the bottom of the deck let's see what else do we have judgment again you can't make this up the judgment card is an awakening all right now this isn't always just an awakening that happens uh within you we do have the hanged man it is an awakening that happens in somebody else towards you okay so there is a realization that this person is coming to we have the knight of pentacles three of pentacles high priestess page of pentacles eight of pentacles eight of wands wheel of fortune there's a change there is a shift most definitely i don't know when this is going to come about it seems like a slow process because we have the knight and the page of pentacles at the bottom pentacles energy is slow but very similarly to pile 1 i was saying that if a change in a person is very fast and very quick it is most certainly artificial so you want this this to be slow and steady so you can truly win that race you know what i mean but this is um a realization of, of deceit a realization of how they've messed up why is the six of pentacles here i was really hoping career would show up for somebody but <laughs> it's not we have the nine of wands i intuitively suddenly got whatever they put you through they're going through pretty much the same thing The nine of wands is the wounded warrior. Okay, the nine of wands is someone who doesn't give up. And touching the six of pentacles, which for me is the minor arcana of the justice card, this is karma at its finest. This is whatever nonsense they put you through, they are suffering the same fate, which is making them realize how they messed up. Six of wands and now they want to see success. They want to see success and victory in this situation. We have the two of cups at the bottom with the seven of cups and the devil. temperance ten of cups listen for this seven of cups to turn into just the two of you into just the two of cups there's a whole lot of work that this person needs to do capricorn and sagittarius energy once that work is successfully done and once you are patient about it this two of cups can successfully turn into a ten of cups which is a happily ever after there is some kind of patience that is required here pile 2 <clears throat> very similarly to pile 1 why is the knight of wands here the high priestess and i feel like some of you with the high priestess know you know that <laughs> this change is coming 
and i'm also feeling that some of you are highly magnetic at this time the high priestess can be exceptionally beautiful or handsome take it how it resonates um and it's because you've been working on yourself you know how sometimes when forget what we're doing for our physical bodies once we start nurturing our emotional and spiritual bodies we become radiant i've seen this happen personally if you take out more time to meditate you take out more time to let's just say, say do yoga or whatever there's almost like this inner radiance that that reflects off of your off of your being this person is realizing that this person is seeing that change in you it's almost like that conflict and chaos may have <clears throat> made you look at yourself differently okay but because you're in this hanged man moon high priestess energy you're isolating yourself you're keeping to yourself and because there are no external influences affecting you you've been able to nurture just you your energy is not being wasted you know and there we have it the ace of wands that's the shift that is the change that is the judgment call again i need you to be wary the ace of wands is not the ace of pentacles okay the ace of wands is something that comes in very quickly it is a very passionate new beginning it may not be the most stable but then again ten of cups at the bottom again with the knight of wands yeah this person wants to rush in no doubt but just be a little wary i don't want this to be uh, all action and no intention you know what i mean um but yeah I, i'm repeating myself we did have the knight and the page of pentacles which is steady let's get a little more info the temperance card wanted to show itself nine of pentacles <sighs> so similar to pile one this is blowing my mind i feel like now the nine of pentacles is literally you polishing yourself okay a lot of readers mistake this as the card of being single it is not you can be in nine of pentacles energy while in a relationship this is just the energy of you working really really hard on yourself again nine of pentacles energy is is pentacles right it is slow so this reminds me of you know how when you see really smooth pebbles on the beach or near a river bed how did they get so smooth the water churned them over and over and over again and smoothed out the cracks and the rough edges which is why they are so soft and smooth so that erosion happens over time so the softness that you are coming into i feel like you've been through a whole lot to get here not just softness but this beauty right in and out we have the 10 of wands again my goodness i'm going to get one more here and then we'll clarify the knight of pentacles i did say we need to be wary but i don't think there's much to be worried about the knight of pentacles is very steady we have the chariot again with the two of cups and the seven of wands with the ace of wands and the lovers with the hierophant and the six of cups okay i'm going to stop here this is gaining momentum i before i say anything i want to clarify the 10 of wands please what was that the 10 of wands wanted to show up again can you believe it it wanted to make itself known this is a heavy burden and not just for you i feel like the person you're dealing with is going through the ringer as well yep five of pentacles they're feeling left out i always say the five of pentacles the five of cups which is at the bottom of this deck the three of swords these three cards are triggers okay they trigger returns because that's a whole lot of pain and when we are going through pain we try and seek out comfort so i feel like you've been a comfort blanket for this person and while they were out grazing uh in greener pastures i feel like they realized that they shouldn't have done that ace of swords yep there's a truth there's a true adult honest conversation that you can look forward to and you can't make this up we have the sun with the seven of pentacles the page of wands the world and the lovers again pile 2 what a phenomenal reading this is absolutely beautiful this person realizes you're their joy <laughs> you're their happiness no two ways about it the lovers showing up so many times we have the lovers right here again with the two of cups and the ace of wands this is a pure realization that they messed up and with the 7 of pentacles this person wants to invest in you the 7 of wands right here is telling me two things one it's telling me that you may be on the defense and i don't blame you for that because i feel like this person has really put you through hell 
I also feel like this person is not giving up. There's a fight in them now. It's almost like they don't want to fight with you. They want to fight for you. You know what I mean? My stomach just growled. That's a confirmation. With the Six of Cups, this is a soul connection. This is a soul tie. And whenever we have a soul contract with somebody from either a past life or the life before that, right? Um, th there's a learning that needs to be done here, which is why the Hierophant has shown up, right? This learning, whatever it is, it leads to an elevation, an elevation in the connection, an elevation in your own spirituality. It is some kind of ascension process. And I feel like with all of that hanged man and high priestess energy, you've been doing the work, right? For me, the high priestess and the hierophant are divine counterparts. So I see this person elevating to your level, plain and simple. With the chariot, cancer energy, interestingly, this is Venus in cancer, the two of cups. Cancerian energy is very loving. It's very nurturing. It's very kind, right? So whatever emotion has been left out here, you don't have too many cups here. Do you have any cups at all? No cups. You have absolutely no cups. Exactly. Whatever love. Cups in the tarot represent emotion, love, right? Whatever was missing, no more. This nostalgia is triggering a return. And it's not just love. It's a whole lot of passion as well. This is coming in fast. It is coming in very fast for you. All right, let me get you a couple of oracle cards and then we'll pull some charms. There's no BS here, I feel, with the Ace of Swords because I feel like this person has truly realized your worth because whenever you pull your energy back, like I said about the runner chaser, when you pull your energy back, um, this person realizes that this isn't a game and they need to stop playing. We have don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? I mean, seriously, this is just don't lower your standards. And I feel like you haven't been. And because you know your worth, this person is realizing yours as well. Don't make yourself smaller. Now, I was watching an astrologer uh, just today morning, in fact, and she was talking about a couple of astrological transits. Um, there was something about the sun conjuncting Pluto or whatever. And she was saying something that really struck a chord with me. She said, this is the time when you will be able to understand who you make yourself small for. Okay. And she said that those people will be removed from your life, whether you like it or you don't, because you're not meant to dim your shine. You're meant to be in the spotlight. So again, this doesn't have to relate to just the person that you are dealing with. It could be just anybody in your life. If you feel like you have to make yourself small to fit in, don't do that anymore. Okay? It's a brand new year. And you create your own reality. So do you want to be a sidekick in, in somebody else's movie? Or you want to be, well, the main act in yours? And we have soul family, call in your tribe, you don't have to do it alone. And again, I'm pretty sure this has been difficult for you, whatever this is. Call in your soul tribe, call in your family, call in people who get you. We have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. For some of you, I literally feel like you need to take a trip with your friends <laughs> or your family or just people who nourish you and care for you, which is why the cups were showing up at the bottom of the deck, right? That is background energy. That is energy that's behind the surface. It's, it's backstage. So if you've been missing that nourishment and that care, just because you're not getting it from your romantic partner doesn't mean that there aren't other sources available to you. Okay, I'm not saying you need to use people, but then again, from what I can tell, you've been doing all the heavy lifting. Ask for a little help, okay? Um, finally, let's get you a couple of Wisdom of the Oracles. Aircraft flying overhead again. Some of you really need to just plan a trip, go somewhere. We have exchanging gifts. You can't make this up. This is yin energy. This is Venusian. This is the energy of not just receiving and giving, but it is the energy of being on the same frequency with the people uh, around you, right? Now you see right here, she's in a box, okay? That box represents social constructs. It represents the discipline that we feel that we've grown up with. This could represent rules and regulations. It could represent anything that keeps us stuck, all right? The box is open. 
so this is telling me that there are people around you who can get you out of your shell people who can well not just give you what it is that you need energetically but who can give you the love that you deserve and again yin energy is about receiving yang is about giving yin is feminine energy so you need to nurture your feminine side again no gender doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman watching this but this is more about sitting pretty and letting the universe work for you the six of pentacles feel like you've been giving too much in your relationships and we have happy happy beautiful this is what the universe is bringing in my friend i got very somber all of a sudden there, there's a maturity here, um, pile two. There's a maturity that you're coming into. I feel like if there was any frivolousness, any games that were being played in your life, and I feel like you, you started, no matter your age, you started feeling like you were in high school, you know. There, there, there's a somberness that is coming about, again, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. There's a maturity. There's a mature love. And again, whether this is the old love that is finally maturing into what you want it to be or it is just something brand new coming in. Either way, it's going to lead to this. Happy happiness. Stay strong and be patient. All right, let's get you some charms to close this off. I normally know when to stop, but yeah it's not letting me stop okay let's see we have a camera which is telling me that there is reminiscing deep reminiscing happening here it could also be a little bit of spying you know we have capricorn you could have capricorn heavily in your chart you could be dealing with someone who does we have family you can't make this up Spend time with people who you know will never abandon you. People who nourish you and care for you. And we have Miracle. I'm getting that song in my head. I believe in miracles. And I feel like you know that. I'm going to get a couple more. I wasn't satisfied. Oh, I have a pendulum in here. No wonder I wasn't being able to grab the smaller ones. Okay. So yeah, with Miracle, I feel like you need to realize that you create your own reality. And you can't give up on whatever this is that you're trying to manifest just gonna try and grab a couple of initials i know what they feel like i'm not looking i swear okay there we go we have o and u <laughs> all right so these could be your initials they could be the initials of someone you're dealing with uh but i'm almost getting i o u so it, it, someone realizes that they owe you energetically they owe you a whole lot of love there's a realization that will be coming about and then again we have an elephant which talks about not just loyalty but reminiscing all right memories things are changing pile two just focus on your happiness focus on people who truly nourish you and see how your environment changes all right that was it i hope this helped Bye bye all right pile three if you picked the tarot of the abyss or the apophyllite with stillabite this is your reading let's see what we have now i will pull your tarot first and then i will move on to pulling a few oracle cards and charms towards the end so make sure you stick around for that always gives a little more clarity all right let's see i was trying to focus on love or career or life or whatever but pile one and pile two both had love readings so let's see what we have for you we have the emperor with the moon aries pisces cancer energy the emperor and the empress oh goodness taurus and libra energy this is a divine match and this is a love reading again we have justice libra energy all right all right there is some kind of balance coming about with the moon card between the emperor and the empress there were things that were unsaid there has been some kind of illusion or some kind of deception even or the manifestation of some kind of fear four of cups a missed opportunity of some kind i will be clarifying i'm just giving you the overview we have the hermit there has been isolation there has been a separation there has been some kind of solo time 
there's been a time out the knight of wands the knight of wands has shown up in all three piles especially on this side of the board we have the six of cups at the bottom with the tower the seven of wands the sun there's been conflict okay let me clarify <clears throat> Why is the justice card here? We have judgment at the bottom of the deck. What balance is this? We have the king of cups. With the moon that showed up between the emperor and the empress, which like I said, are divine counterparts. Um, there was something that was hidden. Okay. Now the king of cups holds a whole lot of love. No gender in tarot. Just take the energy with you. The King of Cups holds a lot of love in his heart, but does not express it. Okay. The Justice card right here is telling me that there could be a revelation that is happening here. If there was a disbalance in expression of love, that is changing. And the Moon again, you can't make this up. There's a lot of water happening in this reading. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with someone who has a lot of water in their chart or you do. But again, there's a revelation pile three this is beautiful i was telling one of the piles that the moon suppresses and the sun illuminates there's an illumination of love happening here whatever has been hidden whatever has been suppressed even with the four of cups there's an illumination of that happening there could be a confession for some of you let's see why is the four of cups here the ace of cups what did i just say <laughs> there could be a confession with the Four of Cups, you may feel like either your offer was rejected or you may feel like this was a missed opportunity and there's nothing happening, right? There's a lot brewing under the surface. A whole lot. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, that's too many. The Seven of Cups, yeah, it's possible, like I was telling another pile, it's possible that there was a whole lot of disillusionment you can't make this up. There was a whole lot of confusion regarding this connection. We have temperance with the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. Listen, you may have felt like you were not a priority in this connection. But I'm almost feeling like you were not feeling like a priority, not because you weren't, but because this person, whoever this was, they had a lot on their plate. They were dealing with a whole lot of crap. I don't know what this is regarding. It could just be regarding work. But there's a need to stay patient in this situation. And patience has been the key word throughout this video. The King of Wands. I'm going to put it back. I don't know how why it flipped out like that. I didn't ask for it. But I want to clarify the Hermit. Let's keep the King of Wands in mind. If he wants to show up again, he will show up. We have the Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords. There's a reason the King of Wands showed up. The King of Wands is someone who can be very, well, charming and magnetic, of course, but someone who is not very serious, okay? The Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords is a very similar energy. It is someone who, who could have a wandering eye, okay? But with the Seven of Swords and the Hermit, I'm almost feeling like there's a realization of this on that end because the hermit is is again like i said someone who spends time in isolation and truly digs deep for answers the hermit is a card of realization there's a realization of deception and i feel like while they were trying to well deceive you or not trying to they were almost deceiving their own selves What is this? It's a very strange energy. We have the Hierophant. And I have been talking about ascension processes. And I feel like a lot of the runners, when it comes to soulmate connections or twin flame connections, a lot of runners are getting into not just spiritual ascension, but emotional ascension as well. There's, there's a sense of one's emotional quotient kind of polishing itself. And I feel like the self-sabotaging energy, whatever this was, even if you felt like you were an option when it came to other romantic interests, right? This person is realizing that it's high time that they start taking themselves and you seriously. There's a maturity that is coming about here. 
I did see the King of Wands. The Page of Wands has shown up for a reason. I prefer the King of Wands to the Page of Wands any day, right? Because at least, like I said, that there, there's a, there's a maturity there. I feel like this person still has a little bit of spunk. They still have that playfulness about them. Because again, we have the Knight of Wands right here, but they want to grow up, most certainly. Let's see, why is the Knight of Wands here? The High Priestess, you can't make this up. The High Priestess and the Hierophant for me are counterparts, like the Emperor and the Empress. So there's an elevation that wants to happen here. They realize that they can't be, well, sitting in their player ways forever. For some of them, they realize with the King of Cups and the Moon card, the depth that you have within you, the amount of work that you've put in yourself. And they, they can't approach you as the page, the knight or the king of wands. They need to approach you as the hierophant. Someone who can match your frequency. And the sun, it wanted to show up again. This person realizes you're their joy. We have so many cards of quietness. Okay, we have the moon, we have the king of cups, we have the hermit, we did see the hanged man, we have the high priestess, right? That's a lot of quiet time. But I feel like with the sun card, this person wants to change that. It's almost like whatever was suppressed. Yeah, ooh, two cards. Whatever was suppressed, they don't want to keep it suppressed anymore. We have the queen of wands. They see you as, as a perfect match. And again, this is the third time we have gotten a counterpart. We had the king of wands, now we have the queen of wands. So some of you may have heavy fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or your person might, doesn't have to be. We have the Ace of Swords, the Chariot, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Devil. For some of you, I'm literally getting that you have elevated so much that no matter how hard this person tries to elevate themselves, they will still never be on the same playing field as you. I'm literally getting that. We have the Eight of Pentacles. That doesn't mean that they're not going to try. I feel like this person is resilient. We have the Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Swords. You have two of the three main trigger cards in a reading. For me, the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles are triggers that will get people to come in because they're miserable, right? So, which is why I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, there's work that this person wants to put into this. Yeah, I expected this, the Tower. Again, now either this is a tower that happened in the past. We again have the moon, the emperor. Oh, we don't have the empress anymore. We don't have the empress anymore. No gender in tarot. But I feel like you are carrying empress energy and you have removed yourself from this equation. Because you don't want to be an option anymore. And with the nine of cups, you are focusing on your happiness. That's causing a tower. That is causing a tower in this person's life. Because their safety net is gone their comfort blanket is gone and then we have the magician the three of wands is a card of manifestation as well just like the magician we have the six of wands the chariot the ace of swords the two of cups the ten of wands and the empress there she is with the three of pentacles i feel like you want to be seen you want to truly be seen for who you are and you don't want to put on an act anymore um, it's almost like you don't want to dim your shine, you know, just to please someone else. Why is the tower here? You're kidding, right? You see how many divine counterparts we have? King of Cups, Queen of Cups. We have the Fool with the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person is resilient. <laughs> they realize, they realize your worth. This could be just them starting off this whole thing, two of cups at the bottom of the deck, as a little friendship, as a little what's up, let's grab coffee. You know what I mean? And I'm almost feeling like after everything that you've been through, this could seem like, almost like, why? Why even bother? You know, after everything that you have gone through, a cup of coffee is not gonna fix anything. The only thing that I have to say here is be a little patient, give this person Oh, the death card with the four of cups and the nine of swords. No, you're you're not being patient. I feel like some of you have really made up your minds. The four of cups has switched now. Where earlier the four of cups was, well, your offer being rejected or whatever. Now the four of cups is, the ball is in your court. And I feel like you're not playing anymore. 
some of you have truly made up your minds and no matter what this person says or does you are not going to budge i'm going to get another main card i don't like the ending of this not for the cross watcher at least we have the two of pentacles so there is a little bit of indecision i don't think this is set in stone just yet oh goodness we have the two of cups with the ten of wands and we have the ten of swords at the bottom regardless of how much love there is in this situation or how much love you have for this person yeah you do the queen of cups holds the most amount of love in her heart in the tarot there's been a whole lot of pain and for some of you i'm the devil i'm also thinking the world the six of swords the lovers i'm i'm also thinking that you're judging you're weighing up is is the happiness that i get and the love that i get in this relationship more than the pain that i have received you know so it's almost like once the love and the happiness trumps the pain is when you will reconsider this but for now um i feel like you're you're overwhelmed you are overwhelmed so you see that that battle between the queen of swords and the queen of cups is literally the battle between heart and head so there is a fork in the road you're at you're at a crossroads my friend the world card the six of swords the lovers i almost feel like let this person do their bit and i feel like they want to with the eight of pentacles let them prove themselves to you because i feel like you've done enough you've done more than enough and i feel like you've been carrying this relationship on your back for so long now not only has it strengthened your back but it has made you realize uh what depletes you and what nourishes you so yeah let this person pick up the pace and come in correctly i feel like that will make it easier for you to uh make a decision i do see you screaming at me and saying i'm done this is dead done over with i am not going to invest in this anymore the lovers is showing up so is the two of cups so and the queen of cups there is a whole lot of love here let's not fool each other right here by the 3 okay so just focus on your manifestations focus on what it is that you want out of life focus on you with the nine of cups focus on your happiness and whatever's happening beneath the surface and backstage let that transpire let it reveal itself to you when it is time right the moon was showing up for a reason that for me as a reader is a blockage that's almost like i i can't study that energy because i'm not meant to right so i will be doing a couple more pick a cards and again i have been posting um, readings uh, based on your sign so for more clarity i would highly encourage you to watch those those may answer some questions for you we have the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes again this could be a soul connection i did see the six of cups now you see how the 10 of wands is literally for me training you've been going through this not just to strengthen your back but to strengthen your boundaries to strengthen your worth to realize your worth plain and simple this person came into your life for a reason my friend and i feel like i always say this the universe will only throw lessons at us and obstacles at us when it knows that we are capable of handling them all right we have the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe and for some of you this may have triggered triggered a spiritual awakening and i see that already because we have the hierophant and the high priestess so not only is this triggering your ascension oh my goodness not only is this triggering your soul growth but it is triggering theirs as well and i feel like you were both meant to be in each other's lives to well come together and not just heal each other but to heal your individual selves i was talking about boundaries and trust your path where do you need to establish better boundaries that is why the 10 of wands is showing up again and again these boundaries are going to not just keep bad energies out it will help you put up a filtration system as to who to allow in to your life and not just in relation to love but in relation to okay i'm going to take these but in relation to um uh not just in relation to your friendships but love as well you know 
Okay, we have yin and we have by the book. Now, by the book is traditionality for me. This for me is the Ten of Pentacles. This is knowing exactly what you want, making your own rule book, your own handbook for success and making your own, well, again, filtration system, having your own expectations in order that this is my checklist and it needs to be fulfilled. And if even if one thing is left off the checklist, I don't want it. That is the Ten of Wands energy because you know exactly what you've been through and what you don't want to repeat anymore. You know, and then yin card, it's the card of receiving. This is feminine energy. Again, we have feminine and masculine energies both within us. So it is time for you to sit pretty and receive, my friend. Number 11 and number 2. It is time for you to receive. You've given way too much in this, most certainly. All right, let's get you some charms to close this off. We have hmm, the tree of life. And I feel like I was getting Ten of Pentacles here. You want to build a family or you want to build some kind of legacy right here, a legacy of love or a legacy of, well, material growth, whatever it is, you want stability. You don't want any kind of games, right? You're serious right here. And I feel like once you stick to this, once you stick to your roots, this could be again family or just the constructs that you've grown up with the discipline that you've grown up with that is when you're going to encourage the people you're dealing with to elevate to your level right then we have love <laughs> there's love coming in most certainly just work on yourself and be patient we have the letter l this could be your initial could be the initial of someone you're dealing with doesn't have to be and then we have trust trust in divine timing trust in your path all right don't stray don't stray if things aren't going your way all right just because you that there's a speed bump or an obstacle it doesn't mean that your journey is over right and then we have virgo so you could be dealing with the word virgo or you could have it heavily in your chart but there is something about diligence here there's something about practicality maturity and diligence and a shift coming about when things were just up in the air and things were just playful and things were just you know diluted there's a there's a good kind of heaviness that is coming about something that's tangible tactile you know what i mean all right pile three a little all over the place but that's what i have for you i hope this helped bye, -bye.